Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and today I'm going to be showing you another third trimester pregnancy workout. We're going to start the same way as the last one did with a wall sit. You're going to want to do three sets of 30 second wall sits. If you can do more, great. If you can do less, do whatever works for you. Up next, you're gonna do sumo squats. Sumo squats are where your legs are a little bit further than shoulder width apart and your toes are pointing at a 45 degree angle. You're going to want to do three sets of 15 reps. This is just me showing you another angle. And make sure to get a good booty squeeze at the top of each repetition. Up next, you're going to want to do inclined push-ups up against the wall or a door or whatever. You're going to want to do three sets of eight. And next, you're going to want to do some donkey kicks. 15 per side, so 30. And then you're going to want to do three sets of 30. So three sets of 15 on each side. This one is going to be a killer for that booty, but it's gonna be so, so worth it. And then we get to lay down. My favorite part and Passport's favorite part. She likes it a little bit too much. She was very concerned. <laughs> yeah, does not make this easy for me, does she? You're going to want to do a side lying leg lift and you wanna do 15 per side and three different sets of these. So again, you're gonna wanna do 30 three times. <laughs> My dog loved when I was on the floor. And then we're gonna finish off with a plank again. Do anywhere from a 10 to a 45 second pl plank, whatever you're comfortable doing. Don't push yourself. Hey guys, um, that is the end of my second ever on this channel pregnancy workout. I am in my third trimester. I am 31 weeks uh, on Sunday, so in a couple days I'm 31 weeks along. And so with workouts like this, you have to keep in mind that you have to be able to hold a conversation while you do your workout. And never to do anything that is like wild and crazy that you've never done before. Stick to stuff that you did pre-pregnancy. And even if you did it pre-pregnancy but then didn't work out for a while, like me, you still have to take it easy. Um, and just because you could do it before doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it now, and that's totally okay. And if your moves look like crap and you can't do certain things, then be at peace with that and just know that you're doing the best that you can. And whatever you're doing, any movement at all, is helping with your labor and delivery, with the health of your baby that's growing inside you, and so many other things. Maybe I should have said this in my last video. I don't know. I just figured it was kind of, you know, like a common sense thing. But talk to your doctor before you do any workouts. And just because Pinterest says that it's okay, or a video on YouTube, or even one of your favorite, like, Instagram fitness people, if they say that it's okay for pregnancy, it doesn't mean that it's okay for your pregnancy. So make sure to consult your doctor or midwife first before doing any exercise. So the last workout that I did was uh, three days ago. And I was not able to work out again until today. This is the third day because it took me two whole days to recover and stop being sore after my last workout. So if you haven't checked that one out, please check it out. It definitely is a muscle builder, that's for sure, because it hurt me so bad. This workout, I feel, is going to do the exact same thing to me, so you probably won't have another pregnancy workout for a while because, yeah, it's... It, it was hurting me while I was doing it, especially in certain parts of my legs that I didn't hit in the last workout. So, yes. <laughs> so today, I'm actually doing something pretty fun that I've literally never done before. Well, okay, I did it one time when I was 11, <clears throat> before my first school dance, <laughs> but I've never done it since. Ah, this is gonna sound so stupid because it's something that like everybody does, but I am going to be getting my nails done uh, for the first time. So uh, yeah, pretty exciting. Well, I mean, it's not the first time, but it's the first time in over 12 years. I have a gift card that my mom got me for a $50 credit or whatever toward this nail salon place. And she got it for me last Christmas and I've been putting it off and I haven't used it because I'm like, I don't know what to do. It seems like such a big commitment to get your nails done. 
<laughs> so I haven't used it, but it literally expires today, so I have to use it, otherwise it's just going to go to waste. So I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but it will be soon and I will definitely show you what I get. Okay, so my boyfriend is getting his blood drawn right now, so he has the car and I cannot go get my nails done, which is fine. I'm a little nervous anyway, so it's like, take your time, but uh, at the same time, hurry up because it expires today, so yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys different products that I have recently purchased that I'm using to help prepare my body for a natural birth and different things that I've been doing to get my body ready, get my mental space ready, different things like that. And then also some gifts that we've received that I'm very excited to use for the baby. So yeah, without further ado, I'll just get into it with the first item. This is from a brand called The Pink Stork. It's founded by a mother of five and uh, a military spouse. Her name is Amy Upchurch. And she has had five babies, and she said that during her fourth and fifth pregnancies, um, she discovered the power of natural and organic products, and she wanted to share that with other people. So that's where this tea comes in. She has so many different kinds. I think she has one for postpartum, one for breastfeeding, just like so many different things. But this one is called Labor Prep, and it's specifically meant to help your body get ready for labor, which is wild. It's supposed to help strengthen and tone your uterus, as well as some other, you know, benefits that it says. And she says to use it during the second and third trimesters, and that it's a wonderful blend of organic herbs. Red raspberry leaf tea, nettle leaf, chamomile flowers, rosehip fruit, oat straw leaf, and stevia leaf. And I'll tell you what, I always add a Truvia packet or half a Truvia packet to my cup of tea because I just can't I Need my tea to be sweet this one I actually don't have to add any to it because it already has that stevia leaf in there So it's sweet enough and it's delicious and I really really like it and it's of course vegan It's free from anything non-organic from artificial flavors colors preservatives from any animal products so This is something that I'm really excited about I got this off of Amazon. A couple of the things here, actually all of the things I got on Amazon, so I'm just gonna leave all of them linked in the description box below. But the next thing that I got, a primrose oil, an organic evening primrose oil. And this one is going to be used on my vagina itself, my, <laughs> my area down there. And basically what you do is, from what I've gathered, I mean, I could be wrong, but what helps is if you take a couple drops of this oil, uh, starting at around the 35 week mark, and you gently massage um, there, and you know, put it, you know, just, you, you know what I'm saying? It basically helps to like soften your cervix, I guess, and like get your vagina ready to push a baby out. And I want my everything to be as toned and as softened as I can because I'm gonna be doing it all natural with no pain meds or anything. So I would like everything to be as ready as possible. I've also, of course, been trying to do Kegels when I remember to. I'm so bad at remembering it, but every time I see the word Kegel, which actually is a lot because when you're pregnant, you have like all these apps and different things and it's like, ooh, Kegel exercises. And so every time I see the word, I do it. And I can tell that I'm getting stronger because for some reason I used to only be able to do like 30 Kegels in a row, but uh, now I can do 60, so take that. Got these, what's the brand? After Henry, they're nipple pads. They're reusable, so you just put them in here and uh, it catches all the leakage, both while you're pregnant and while you're breastfeeding with a reusable pouch that you can wash them in. So I think that that's pretty cool. It comes with, I think, 10 or 12 nipple covers and there are, there are so many different brands, but this one is the only like 
reusable brand that I could find that was a pretty decent price. But being 31 weeks pregnant almost, I have been experiencing leakage in the boob department for quite some time, which is awesome. <laughs> it's nothing too bad to wear like it leaks through my bra and my shirt or anything, but if I'm not wearing a shirt, it'll definitely like leak through, or uh, if I'm not wearing a bra, it'll definitely leak through my shirt and there are always stains on my bra. Sorry if that's gross, just from my boobs and my boobs are getting ready to feed a baby. So, oh hi Pezport, so pretty. I didn't even see you. Hello. High five. High five. Woo! That's a good one. I chose the reusable route just because obviously I care about the environment. I'm vegan and blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to, you know, if, if, especially if I'm planning on having more kids, which I am, then I would rather just have something that I can use throughout all of my pregnancies instead of just throw away after a single use. Which leads me to my next thing. I have a bunch of reusable cloth diapers here. I think this is a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. It's a pack of like six or seven. There's like a little fox. There are some um, anchors and some paws and then just some neutral colors. And I got them all neutral patterns just because I don't know if I'm gonna have a boy. I don't know, you know, I don't know what, what the deal is gonna be, but I didn't wanna get like a bunch of unicorns and princesses and then have to put my little boy in a bunch of unicorn and princess diapers. Uh, so yeah, and I have two other packs. Actually, I have one other pack. I need to buy the, the third pack because I wanna have at least like 20 cloth diapers that I can use in a rotation. The benefit of cloth diapering is that even though it might be slightly more laborious, as in you have to do more things for them, you literally have, like let's say I buy 20 cloth diapers, I will use only those 20 diapers for the duration of my pregnancy and any future pregnancy after that. Isn't that crazy? Or like the youth of the baby, you know what I'm saying? Not the pregnancy, because I'm not using these diapers myself, I'm going to use them on the baby. Ugh. Okay composing myself. And cloth diapering is something that me and CJ have kind of battled about a little bit because he thinks it's disgusting, he doesn't want to do it, and I'm like, well, I, I won't do it any other way, so we gotta figure it out. So we did get some other diapers, some disposable diapers in a couple different sizes, and we're going to use those, you know, in case of an emergency, in case these don't work out and um, yeah, if the baby ever like goes to stay at grandma's house or something, then we're just gonna send disposable diapers with them because we don't want them to have to bother with cloth diapering. So we got these liners. This was my way of compromising with CJ. These are some oh so cozy flushable diaper liners. So basically these ones, you put a liner inside the diaper and then when you change the diaper you can flush these so instead of having to be like oh okay I gotta wrap it up and I've got to put it in the bag and like all that gross stuff you can just you can just flush it and get rid of it and that's great we have another three pack of these there are a hundred sheets in each roll so 300 roll or 300 sheets here and we have another one of these already in the house and then we just need like 5,000 more, so no worries there. The other product that I'm going to share, we got as a gift from a family that I've actually been babysitting for for like six years, which is wild, but um, it's this Arlo baby monitor. And it looks, if you can see here, it looks like a little bunny. There are a bunch of different uh, hats that it can wear if you want, but I liked the little gray bunny ears because ideally our nursery would be gray and white and this would go with that very well. But it's a 1080p HD monitor, so it films in the same quality as this camera. Wow! It also has night vision, two-way talk, smart alerts. It goes straight to your phone. So this hookup 
will go straight here, which is pretty cool. And it can go to any phone that you want. And it also can be unplugged for six hours and still retain battery. It has a music player, air sensors to like tell you how hot or cold it is in the room, and multicolored night lights. So this thing is just like the most legit baby monitor that you could ever imagine. It's so freaking cool and high tech. And normally, you know me, I'm like super hippie about everything. And I'm like, no, let's do crop diapering. Let's not let the baby watch TV until they're four. Like, you know me. But with this, I'm like, this is cool because for somebody with anxiety, and I'm sure that being a new parent, I'll have even more anxiety. This will be peace of mind to know, like no matter where I am in the house, that the baby is okay. You know what I mean? And that makes me feel so, so good. When I saw that they had gotten this for me, I was so like blown away and shocked and I didn't even know what to say. I, I was like, there's no way this is real because it's just, it was, it was just very shocking to me and I'm so, so appreciative for it because we are balling on a budget, you know, and we already got a baby monitor, just, you know, one of the ones where you can hear. It's basically like a walkie talkie uh, and it's got like the bass and then the little monitor that's like to where you can hear everything. And we got one of those from a friend and just as like they used to use it, their kids are grown up now, they don't use it anymore. And we were totally fine with using that because we're like, we don't have like $200 to spend on a monitor. So maybe we can spend it on something else like, uh, diapers or you know something like that not saying that we're totally broke uh, or poor <laughs> but you know what i mean it's just it's a very expensive luxury item and it's not something that everybody can afford it's not something that even we can afford right now so the fact that somebody got it for us as a gift was just so appreciated and we've been thinking about practicing using it when we leave and our dog is home alone so we can see and hear what she's doing. Is that awful? I don't know, it was CJ's idea. Don't give me shit about it. And aside from that, we have stockpiled so many clothes. We have so many clothes for our girl. We have a changing pad that just like goes on top of a dresser. We have a crib that our landlord got us. It's an all white crib, which is exactly what I wanted. We have a couple of bobby pillows. We have sheets, a change of sheets, another change of sheets for the baby's mattress. We have some toys. We have like burp rags. We have so many things and then my sister is also letting us borrow her stroller car seat combo which is awesome because I did get a car seat, but it's like a super basic car seat. And so we did want another one just, you know, for a second vehicle or, you know, whatever, just so we have another one. And um, yeah, so we have that. She's letting us borrow that and then some bottles. And one of my uh, other families that I work for, they're done having children. And so she gave me her breast pump, which I'm like stoked about. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're just, we're so lucky and we've been so blessed with so many great things and like we just, we are just so excited for our baby. We've got like nine weeks and three days left until the due date. So it's gonna fly by, every single week flies by faster than the last and so we're like, hurry up, but wait. <laughs> we're definitely not ready. But this is how we're starting to kind of get ready by just organizing the gifts that we've gotten. And for me personally, like using buying products like this to use to get my body ready. And I've also been exercising, as you saw in the beginning of this video. It's so cold out. It's a Minnesota winter. So even though it's been slightly nice for a Minnesota winter, not today, but other days, and where I've been able to take Passport for nice 30 minute walks every day. Not every day is gonna be like that. And I just can't, I, I cannot be bothered to be out in the cold for that long. So 
yeah, if I can't get exercise that way, I've really been forcing myself to try to get it inside the home. If you have any questions about anything that I said or anything that I'm using, or if you have any recommendations of things that helped you prepare for a natural birth or even just a regular birth or a cesarean, whatever you had, give me some tips, girl, because I've never done it before and I would really, I would really like to hear some advice. <laughs> Because yeah, never, never given birth. It's a new thing for me and I'm a little nervous. Not very, but a little bit. So please give me any advice down below and let me know what products that were essential for you when you were first having, like when you um, were a first time parent, what products were just like lifesavers for you? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also maybe while you're at it, like since you've already written me 17 comments, um, tell me what products you thought that you would use and you thought would be like super awesome and you'd literally never touch them. Let me know. I'm very curious, please. Thanks. So update, my dumbass didn't realize that it was so close to Christmas and that people probably were gonna be like wanting to get their nails did before the holiday and so they would be booked. So I called them, uh, the nail salon, and I was like, do you have an appointment today for a manicure? Thinking they've got seven hours left until they close. Of course they're gonna have an opening. Update, they don't. So uh, I was like, okay, well, I've got a gift certificate that expires today, what do I do? And I talked to the owner on the phone and she said that as long as I made my, oops, sorry, as long as I made my appointment today and put a credit card on file in case I don't show up, that um, they, would, they would honor my gift card. So I have an appointment for Sunday, AKA the day before Christmas Eve to get a manicure. And I have literally never done it before and I was perusing their website. I don't think they do acrylics. I, I don't, because the only options that I can see on their website are nail polish, gel polish, and like a couple other like different kinds of gel. You know what I mean? So I don't think they do acrylics, which is what I was like so excited for to have acrylics for the first time. But it's fine if they don't, you know, whatever. It's okay, I'll survive. But still, yeah, it's just kind of, I don't know, whatever. Either way, you're not gonna be seeing uh, an, a nail update today. I apologize, I really do. But I guess we'll just end this video here, I guess. Uh, there's really no reason for me to continue this video since the only other thing I was going to include was my new nails and I'm not gonna have my new nails until Sunday. So, look forward to that. Oh! Ah. Please stay subscribed to this channel. Give me the likes and all the comments that I told you to give me before, you know, like all 18 of them. Go ahead, write down, right, right now, in the comments, right now. All of those things, because cause your girl would love to read through them. That's it, guys. I guess I will go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.